guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm Kirsty, if you're new here, welcome. It's Saturday, it's the weekend, hello. I thought I'd sit next to my Christmas tree and make it all festive today. So I had my little festive oh, Bailey's hot chocolate last night, which was lovely. <laughs> Do recommend, do recommend. I love a Bailey's hot chocolate at a Christmas market, but there's no Christmas markets at the moment. Thank you, coronavirus. So I made one myself and it was lovely. Yeah, so I thought I would jump on and say hi because I've not filmed all week and it's now Saturday. So this vlog is definitely gonna run into next week. But that's fine. It has been a busy week. Very much work, 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 house, 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 vlog work, vlog work, vlog work. So I'm trying to very much have a chill day today, enjoy it before we get back into the ground next week. So um, I think we're going into town today. I would quite like to get my Christmas shopping finished. I'm almost there. In this video or the next, I might give you a little rundown of what I'm actually buying people. So sort of gift ideas. If you're still looking for Christmas presents, don't know what to get people, I can give you a rundown of what I'm getting my mum, my dad, sister, uh, sister's boyfriend and best friend, as well as my dog. I actually came on to say that I just got an exciting delivery through, so I thought I'd show you this first before we get into the, the video. So it was a delivery by Tonic. Tonic is a bar in Edinburgh who, over lockdown, obviously had to close, and so they started up their cocktails at home sort of service where you can order cocktails and you can enjoy them at home, which is bloody brilliant, honestly. Now we can enjoy bar standard cocktails from the comfort of our own hives, which is perfect for Christmas time. You know, order them, have them on Christmas day. That sounds brilliant, doesn't it? I think so. So they've got a lot of cocktails to choose from. I think there's 12 cocktails to choose from, all classics and all sort of some unique ones in there as well, which all sound amazing. They have sent me a, a packet of six to try and show you guys. Over the next few weeks, we'll have a couple and try them all together. What I like is that obviously this is a little independent business. It's a little bar in Edinburgh. It's actually one I've been to in Edinburgh before so you might know it they do really good cocktails i do remember i do remember going there and it was really nice so i'm very excited to try these they all come packaged quite nicely as well so it's in a sort of box that can fit through your letter box which is great uh, it's nice and thin so perfect all these cocktails you can freeze them but i'm gonna keep them in the fridge and they've got expiry dates on the back as well just so you know how long they can keep fresh for and to be fair that is a really decent a decent length of time so you can order them and have them all throughout the month amazing we are gonna go with this one so this one is we've got a there's no place like tonic so they come in these little bags with the ingredients and how you make the cocktail on the front which all you need is a shaker and ice and pour the contents into the shaker and you also get a little bag with the garnishes um so you can garnish your cocktail after you've after you poured it, which I think is great. Literally just pop it into into a shaker with some ice and then you've got your, your perfect at home bar standard cocktail. Amazing. So this is there's no place like tonic, which is gin, mango, citrus sort of vibes to it, ginger syrup, basil. Sounds very much like my cup of tea. And actually I think it's maybe one I've had before. So um, it sounds very familiar. I'm excited to give that one a go. I think that was like my top pick, I would say. Then we've got an espresso martini. And actually this is one I would usually choose, but I thought because I am getting a selection, I would give it a go because I like coffee now. So I thought I'll give it a, I'll give it a go. And again, it's got the ingredients on the front and how you make your cocktail. And obviously we've got little coffee beans that we can use to garnish it at the end. We've got a Cosmo, so an absolute classic. Poor Star Martini, another absolute classic. One of my faves. These are the ones that are slightly different. So we've got a Starburst Martini. This one is vodka based with raspberry juice, apple juice, other stuff that I don't know how to pronounce. And I'm not gonna butcher it on camera. Um, excited to give that one a go because red Starburst, yes please and got a lychee daiquiri so i think they had a normal daiquiri like a strawberry daiquiri as well i thought i would try a lychee daiquiri not something i've ever had before i don't actually know if i've tried lychee before but oh, that sounds good i actually really want to try them tonight so i might I might try and rope the family into it and have a little taste test with me yeah i thought that was really sweet and i wanted to tell you guys about it and i will show you the finished cocktails and tell you how they rate when we get around to drinking them for now i need to go to christmas shopping so yesterday I went into town. I managed to finish my Christmas shopping. I am so happy. I've basically finished my shopping in like 
four or five days winning i hadn't started maybe like mid last week and now i'm finished so i am blooming proud of myself because i thought i was gonna be doing that till christmas eve i won't lie i'm just waiting for a few more bits to come actually i've got a few more bits to pick up and then that's me i just need to get them wrapped which i've got my wrapping paper i've got my ribbon well i've got string twine and i'm gonna get some little decoration -y bits i think if i've got time to make it all cute yesterday i ended up just having like an indian with my family a couple drinks a hot chocolate again beautiful and today i have been painting all morning so i've painted the feature wall in my bedroom so that needs another coat after this one dries and then I've masked up the living room for the future walls in there so it's definitely starting to take shape now the tiling's been done in the bathroom which looks so good I'm so happy with it I'll maybe chuck in the clips here as well Yeah, I'm really, really happy with how that's turned out as well. And today I am now away to go and see Holly. So we're going to go to Costa, have a coffee, have a chat. And that's my day. Quite chill. And honestly, I kind of need it. It's going to be a hectic week next week, guys. It's going to be hectic. I've got lots of client work to do, coursework and work and youtube work so it's gonna be non-stop but i want it all done for christmas that is the aim we're gonna get it done okay we're gonna do it if you've got if you've got stuff to do too go do it get it done before christmas because then you'll be proud of yourself and you'll be like stress free and it'll be great but yeah i better go because holly will be here in like two seconds <laughs> It's the weekend. I thought I'd go a little bit festive today. We've got the red lip on, which I've not worn in ages. Red was my classic signature look and it's only probably been on a couple times this year, which is mental. I'm really enjoying the nudes, but it's Christmas time. So the red's back out and we've got a Christmas jumper on, got the little holly on it. Oh, I've got makeup on my jumper. Standard. Yeah, this is cute. Very short. I think it's shrunk the last time I washed it, but it's fine. Yeah, we've got the Christmas jumper out, the red lipstick. We're gonna have a festive day. I've got a couple presents that I need to collect. That I've ordered from places. And then I think I'm gonna wrap the presents with you. I'm gonna show you what I've got for people. Um, if you need any last minute sort of presents, even though I don't actually know when this video is gonna go up, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This year I'm using brown paper and string, and I've got some oranges um, that I've popped in the micro to dry out. I usually would use an oven but I'm using the micro just because it it's quicker and hopefully it works. I've been in the micro now so I'm letting them dry out and leaving them for like a couple hours and hopefully they'll be okay to actually use as gift tags. If not, I think the dried oranges, dehydrated oranges looks really cute on a present so I wanted to do something like that this year to make the brown paper look a little bit more exciting. Yeah and then tonight we are trying out the cocktails. So the cocktails that I showed you at the start of this video, me and my family are gonna, are gonna taste test them for you and let you know how they are so that you can go and pick up some yourself so i'm really excited for that that'll be good fun i think they're a decent price as well they're like six pounds each which that's cheaper than a cocktail would be when you go out for a cocktail so i think it's i think they're really decent but yeah i better get on i've been up since like half seven but i've done barely nothing i did a workout this morning and then i kind of just sat down and watched youtube and chilled with my breakfast and now it's almost one o'clock so i need to get a move on and actually get some stuff done <laughs> from Tonic at Home, which is a little bar in Edinburgh who are now creating their own cocktails at home. So in these lockdowns, we can, we can still enjoy bar quality cocktails. So let's get started. <laughs> Hi guys, 
happy Sunday. Last night you'll have seen us drinking our cocktail from Tonic at Home. It was such a really nice way to spend an evening um, if you're looking for something fun to do over the next wee while that we are essentially I suppose locked down. All the bars, restaurants, non-essential shops are now closed over Christmas for three weeks which is rubbish. Sorry to anyone that affects over Christmas. It's not a good time so if you're looking for something fun to do with you and the family or your household give a cocktail at home service a go. It's a really nice way to spend an evening. You've got quality cocktails and you can feel like you're out enjoying some fun during these rubbish times. We love the porn star martini classic. Um, I loved the lychee daiquiri. The espresso martini went down a treat. Yeah they were all really tasty and they've got a cocktail there for everyone so go and have a look at them. Today I am going into town. I am going to spend my Aberdeen gift card. So I've been kindly gifted this by Aberdeen Inspired. Um, I've been kindly gifted this to go and find myself a Christmas outfit. So a festive outfit. Something for the festivities. The one day that we're allowed to have some fun. I'm gonna try and find myself an outfit. So the Aberdeen gift card for those who don't know is obviously for Aberdeen and it's to help support businesses within the support local rather than online and things like that. Making use of our shops because otherwise they're gonna all close down so we need to support local. This gift card would be a really great Christmas present if you're looking for a last minute gift for someone. If you've not managed to find that gift for someone yet, get them the Aberdeen gift card. I'm gonna go through some of the list of places that you can spend it. There's a whole list of restaurants, bars, obviously when things open again, clothes shops, uh, beauty places, like the list is endless. There's a, over 150 places that you can spend this gift card so it's very versatile and whoever you get it for is gonna find something on that list that they want to spend it on. So I think it's a really great way if you haven't found that Christmas present for someone yet and give this one a go. Yeah, you can pick this up from the Bon Accord Centre. You can pick this up from Aberdeen Football Club. Like there's a list of places that you can pick this up. I'll leave it all linked down below so you can go and have a look. I'm gonna go and give you a little bit of a rundown of where you can where you can spend the voucher. So, so like cafes, you've got Aberdeen Art Gallery Cafe. You've got Cup Aberdeen, so the Cup Cafe, which is lovely. Fits the Scoop. McGinty's, you've got Mackey's ice cream, you've got Max Pizzeria, so lots of restaurants, Vessel Mint, you've got the Silver Darling, which I've never actually been to before and it looks amazing. And then there's like beauty places like Space and Case, so the new beauty shop recently opened, Tiffany Hair and Beauty, Saks Hair and Beauty, places like that, Yankee Candle, there's toy shops for kids, there's Office and Primark and John Lewis and Markies and Jigsaw and um, Animos if you're looking for house stuff. Finney's, Finney's Jeweler. Literally there's something on here for everyone. I'll just give you a quick, I don't know if you want to pause it and have a quick look. But again, I'll leave it all linked below and you can go and have a look at all the places that they, they cater to. I'm excited to go and spend it. I definitely will be picking up one of these for somebody because I think it's a great idea. Usually obviously when you pick up a voucher, it's quite limited to where you can spend it. And I think this one's a great way to give lots of option and give lots of choice. Yeah, I am now going to try and find myself a festive outfit. Okay, so I'm just back from my little town trip. We were in for such a long time, like, oh my god, I'm absolutely knackered. But it was a success because I got this little Christmassy number. Um, this was from Next, this was £38, and this is like the perfect Christmas day outfit. It's comfy, stretchy, so you can eat lots of food and you're still comfy, but it looks good. It's a shimmery, shimmery silver crepe material and it is honestly the comfiest thing ever ties at the back so you can cinch it in once i've had a lot of food i can take it back out again chuff with that okay so the next little few bits i've bought was this cozy jacket which i thought was gorgeous it was down up to 28 pounds a new look and it's like a very dark chocolatey brown i'm in love with it oversized which is my style i have paired it with my leather trousers from asos which didn't get today, got them a couple days ago. And this top. So this is a bodysuit from All Saints. I got this in John Lewis, which if you want some All Saints stuff, you could buy that with the gift card. Um, if you're gifted a gift card this year. Yeah, I think that is a really cute outfit. I'm thinking if we were allowed to go out for Christmas Eve drinks, this would have been perfect. Some cocktail nights, but I'll need to wait a few, a few weeks before I can make use of this outfit, but I'm happy with this one too. I thought I'd give you a little rundown of while I'm wrapping Christmas presents, what I've got people and things like that. So you'll have just seen the clips that 
I showed you what I picked up with my Aberdeen gift card voucher so that is one great option for Christmas this year if you're still looking for presents. I will hopefully have this video up in time that you can go and pick up that gift card if you're still looking for things for people. A last minute purchase or you know birthdays in the future. I imagine these gift cards are going to be around for quite some time now. You get 12 months to spend them just like any other usual gift card and you can order them online as well which is great and you can pick them up from like the Bon Accord Centre and places like that in time but I'll leave it all linked below. We're gonna get into it. I think I've already shown you the bits I've picked up for the dogs. So we've got like a squeaky toy, uh, one each. We've got a little rope toy. I also bought Casper, the big golden retriever that sits on my bed at the moment. So I need to wrap that as well. Also, I bought this. Casper takes forever to dry. And I saw this on Amazon and I thought it would be a great idea. I know rough and tumble are like the, are like the go-to for drying coats. Yeah, it's a drying coat. They're so expensive. I can't afford it right now. So I picked, picked this one up on Amazon and I think it was like, it was like 17 pounds or something. Like, against like the 60 pounds that I'd be spending on the rough and tumble one and honestly like it does the same job. It is a little coat, velcro around them, it's got a little paw print on the side, it's got a little hood, basically a dressing gown for a dog and it you know wraps around him and he can wear this until he's dry, it means he can sit on the sofa when he's still wet and not have my new house stinking of dog. That is like a purchase like kind of for me because it helps me out but it's for him. I'm excited for him to try that out soon for my dad. He likes to golf so we've got him like a personalised golf glove with his initials on it which is really cool. Um, got it from Not On The High Street if you want to check that out. I'll leave these things hopefully linked below if I can find them again. Not On The High Street's a great place. We get lots of our presents from Not On The High Street for our family. Also getting him a golf net so essentially he can set it up and try not to be too loud because I'm scared they can hear me. But get him a big golf net so he can like set it up in the garden and he can practice his golf. He's been wanting one for ages so we we splurged a little bit and we got him one of them. So that is my dad. For my sister's boyfriend, he has recently moved into his own place. So I thought it would be a great idea to get something along those kind of lines. So I bought him this which is the quick roasting tin cookbook and um, which has got lots of great recipes like 30 minute recipes super simple super easy recipes quick but you literally just chuck the ingredients into a roasting tin and chuck it in the oven and then in 30 minutes time you've got your recipe i thought this was really good like it's quick he can do it after work and he's gonna have some tasty meals so i bought that along with a dish to cook in which i think is lovely i got this from tiki max tiki max is great for home stuff and i bought him some packets of fudge that i found at the aberdeen christmas market so that's from a little independent fudge shop business so i'm quite chuffed with that so that'll just sit you know fudge on top lovely i think that's great for a little homeowner let's go to my sister i decided to go for some slippers because apparently she was needing some slippers i got these ones now, they look cool. I'm just not 100% sure on the colour. It matches the door. Um, these were meant to be like a nude colour, so they didn't actually turn out the colour that I wanted them to be, but these are so thick and I think they're going to be really comfortable. They're kind of like the Ugg ones that are out at the moment that are really popular, but these were like a tenner rather than £100. I think even if she doesn't really like the colour that much, I think for the price that they were, you can't really complain. They're just slippers. She's only wearing them around the house and I think these are going to be great. Like I think you could go outside in these, you know, in the garden with a dog. And along with that, I got her some makeup. One of her favourite mascaras is the Soap and Glory one, so I picked her up one of them. I got a mascara for myself as well and then when I spent so much money, I got a free eyeshadow palette, so I'll chuck that in too. And then she's also getting some of my Pixie bits thrown in as well. So we had a bit of a budget this year, so we weren't spending too much on each other and then my best friend for holly to start with i've got her a little liz earl kit so this is the cleanse and polish and it comes with the cloth which i know she's gonna love we went to the john lewis beauty event recently and i know that she was like oh i think i want to get myself some of that so i picked it up for her hopefully she'll enjoy that and i also i know that she has been been wanting a hot water bottle recently just you know when times are tough and you're sore you need a hot water bottle and she didn't have one so i picked up this one and it's got a little h on it for holly and i thought that was really really sweet yeah i thought that was a nice little little stockingy filler bit that i could put in with the the rest i think she'll really enjoy that and then the main part of her gift is the thing i think she'll love the most i think this was etsy this time but you get great ones on not on the high street as well i've picked up a great print of what i'm waiting to show you for my family before and it was not on the high street and it was gorgeous this one was a lot more affordable because it's not personalized per se but it, it is personalized but it's not a drawing this is the print i got 
and it's of her little doggy. It says Rose, it says dogs leave paw prints on the heart. Her little doggy had to go back to, to live with her dad abroad, so she's missing her. So I thought this would be lovely for her little house. I haven't got a frame yet, so I need to try and find one of them. I might just give her the print and then she can pick the frame that she wants and I'll tell her I'll buy it. But yeah, I thought that was honestly so sweet. Oh, it's so nice. I think she's gonna love that. That is my Christmas presents like this year. That's all I had to buy for. And I'm pretty chuffed with it. I think that was everything. Oh, my mum. I didn't tell you what I got my mum. My dad bought her a lovely coach bag for Christmas this year. So we, me and my sister decided to buy a coach card wallet to go inside, which she doesn't know about. She's gonna be very excited about that. And I'm getting her some letterbox flowers. So that was from Bloom Post, which are gorgeous, like dried flowers, which is gonna last a good few years, which is great. That's that's the kind of flowers I'm all about. And we bought her a little or like a little Christmas tree ornament, little bauble. It's personalized again. This was I think this was not on the high street. I'll link it below. We lost our family dog back in February, so it's gonna be the first Christmas without him, which is gonna be tough, especially tough for my mum. So we bought her this little ornament. It's like a memorial remembrance bauble and it says his name Benji on it. So I know she's gonna, gonna love that. So that's the kind of things I try and get for people over for Christmas is like the personalized, like things from like not in the high street, Etsy, supporting the independent brands. And yeah, they tend to mean the most to people. So that's what I'm going for. So now I'm gonna start wrapping. Let's do that. finished my wrapping oh my goodness how boring is wrapping though <laughs> i'm so happy it's done so this is what we've got it looks a little bit like this so i've got the the red and white string and we've got the green and white string the paper packaging and i'm gonna add some dehydrated oranges to these as well um which are in the oven right now so they will be added soon basically ready for christmas now i've just got some videos to edit some do some client work and obviously finish work and that is me i am ready to chill i'm gonna finish this here guys um thank you so much for watching have an amazing christmas i hope it's a, a really great day under the circumstances and you get to spend the time with the people that you love and if you don't then i i'm sorry i hope 2021 is a lot better but yeah i hope you have a great christmas and make sure you like subscribe comment and all that jazz and i'll see you in the next one bye